Hello everyone, welcome to Fijian Investment Trader. My name is Mr. Singh. Neil, well, a rough day, but I have some exciting, exciting news. Yes, folks, and we did talk about it in our couple uh, previous videos and stay tuned because I really want to share with you guys. So let's talk about the technical analysis first and then we'll talk about the breaking news. Well, the market opened up at $50.20 and we went low for today at $45.75. That's 8.45% a negative today. Well, is it a healthy pullback? I mentioned my previous video that you'll see this correction comes in to create higher highs, right? Before I talk to more on our technical analysis, let's talk about the news. Yes, folks, let's talk about the news. Hey, folks, please don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button so you guys can be constantly updated on NEO and any other stocks. Well, as mentioned, they are looking for a GM uh, in ge uh, general manager in Germany, right? Uh, they will be responsible to about five to ten thousand employees, folks. They're not going over there just to test the market out. They are going in, and we talked about it. We talked about it. There is the next step after Norway, right? And I'm gonna discuss in next video what's after Germany. The the city, the two cities that I'm looking, the projected cities for Neo, right? Well, this is exciting news, folks, because that's the next stop. They are doing it, right? They're not done with no way, right? They're not done with no way. Uh, I'm going to talk about it also. A news came out today, too. So, yeah, folks, they're looking for AGM employees for 5,000 to 10,000 employees. He's been going to be in charge taking a we're doing a new uh, in Germany, right? I'm excited. Sorry, folks. I'm really pumped up. Also, they have started. Right, they have started Neo Start shipping battery swap station and superchargers uh, in uh, on Norway. Right, Neo's first battery swap station and supercharger has been began shipping in Norway and expected to arrive in early August. The company's latest progress expanding two overseas markets. Neo said in September this year, Neo home charging piles and supercharging piles will be officially available in Nigerian customers, and the first four battery stop station will be completed out right these are the areas in the nowhere they are putting it the four different locations where they're going to put superchargers and the battery swap stations right this is massive this is massive massive news for neo in terms of growth that's all i want to uh, want to hear the continuous growth for neo so the future looks bright right and the projection of the stock for next five to ten years right Folks, I'm really pumped up because Norway, like growing fastly in Norway and now in Germany, this is massive growth, right? Let's talk about the stock, right? We talked about the previous, we talked about our previous support level. Um, let's go back to the year to date, then we we'll go back, backtrack it so you guys can have a better. So we talked about this important level, right? The two support level, and I draw it over here in the previous video. Say, so folks, we gotta keep an eye. We gotta keep an eye at our very important support level, which was sitting at forty-six dollars and twenty cents. We kind of broke below today. We kind of broke below. We came down to forty-six dollars and four cents, but we're testing this level, right? And why did I say that? Why did I mention you guys? Why I'm looking because the fifty-four dollar level is a massive, massive resistance level. In previous, it acted as one, two. Then it became a support, a massive support level before it came all the way low of thirty-one dollars, uh, even at thirty dollars too. So, moving ever still in line, RSI. So this is what caught my eye that I'm gonna mention again. RSI is right up here, folks. It's cooled off fifty. We have all the way up to 20 to run all the way up high. Moving uh, average is still lined up. We had a dip. Last time we had a dip like that, we made all the way from 46 to $53, right? What I'm expecting. Yes, I'm still expecting to touching over 50 to $53 level this week. I can see it personally in the next two days. Yes, I can see it. But we got to see how the market displays out. Uh, but I was expecting a pullback. As mentioned in the previous video, we we're going to have this pullback to create higher highs, right? I'm going to go back quickly to our three months chart to show you guys why I'm saying it. Because before we were testing our 60 day moving average as our support, now we are right on our 200 day moving average, which is a massive support level, which is sitting at right on my 
46 dollars at as a 18 cents which 46 dollars 18 was the support level after hours at 46 and 18 so it's holding firm right now we gotta watch it we gotta see what's gonna happen rsi we had an oversold territory MACD still was a huge sell-off so we'll, we'll see how it's gonna do right now we are tried to create some uh, trade in the sideways we fell through we came and tested this level and we're gonna see if it's gonna fall through all the way back to $40 level which I definitely don't see it happening all the way to $40 level I can see definitely testing high of 50 to $53 level next two moving in uh, the next two trading days right we talked about our the, well, let's talk about the market like let's talk about the market what we to expected it right and I was keep mentioning with you guys and keep sharing with you guys what I was looking in terms of that because our all-time high nasdaq was all-time high and we expected this pullback to create higher highs right so today nasdaq opened up massive run up and then we just had a huge sell-off on the nasdaq and was trying to f fight through all the way up high right sp500 was doing good today but overall tax sector right everything was down neo was down leoto was down x bank was down tesla was down everybody was pretty much down right so what are we looking what are we looking for uh in terms of for neo right what are we looking at what do we think that neo is uh gonna be trading for next week and next two days please comment down below and don't forget to subscribe smash the like button i love to hear guys thought on what do you guys think what are gonna be the next two days or even next week where you expect neo is gonna be but overall look at the growth uh look at sorry look at look at the the chart it is a we had a massive run all the way from 30 dollars of higher 55 we have this pullback we might see trading in trading in between in order to go test at 54 dollars and 91 cents so the moving forward with the two levels i'm gonna draw another and i'm gonna draw another support level to see if it comes to a play right and the next support level that i'm looking at it's right up here at 40 uh 43 dollars and 41 cents i'm gonna leave it in white to see if it falls over here i don't folks i don't see it coming at 43 dollars could be wrong uh but i can definitely see on coming back at our um coming back and testing the 46 level uh, and even hello 45 75 to create higher highs but right now we are right at 200 and moving average this is a critical area as a support level for neo well we have a lot of growth about neo going to germany and we talked about it that's next plan is germany they are putting people in place uh in terms of the general manager the gm who's going to be in charge over people for five to ten thousand employees that's massive i am projecting next year 2022 we're looking around the first end of first quarter the neo is going to announce that they are moving to uh germany uh, and start delivering cars over there so that's massive right that's massive news also the news came out that cci the company uh the uh, organization saying that et uh, p7 uh, uh sorry es8 vehicles roughly looking in 2022 is about seventy-seven thousand vehicles so that's something massive news is coming up for neo right there's a lot of growth folks a lot of growth for the company i'm excited i'm pumped Let's see how the market plays out tomorrow. Hey, folks, don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button. I'm here with you guys, constant update with Neo. I'm here on this long road. As I believe this stock in five to 10 years, I can definitely see a three uh, digits uh, stock, right? So that's patience. This is the patience game. We're going to see these patience games right now and see uh, where this stock we, if. And it's going at a steady pace. It's recovery in recovery mode all the way high for the all time, all time high of sixty six dollars and ninety nine cents. So they are it's it's on its way to the recovery right now. Hey folks, that's all I have for today. Hope you guys had a, a good week um, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.